had access to a doctor. Today, millions of people die from diseases that could have been treated if diagnosed early. Most rural areas in developing countries have no medical infrastructure and no way to treat some of the most common diseases. Today, the only solution to this immense problem is to build hospitals in the most far out areas, train a countless number of doctors and expect them to live in these remote areas at the cost of hundreds of billions of dollars. But what if somebody could build a device that could diagnose the world's most common diseases for only a few dollars that could be operated by anyone with minimal training? This is not science fiction. Team Gen Z is making it a reality. We're a developing wireless device that works with carbon nanotubes in combination with microfluidics and microcrystals to detect proteins of many of the world's most common diseases. As many of you may know, in order to have a great company, you need to have an even better team. And that's what we have with youth pioneers like Jack Andreka, who was the Intel Science Fair winner who revolutionized the field of early diagnostic for pancreatic and ovarian cancer by coming up with a paper strip that can diagnose these diseases for under a nickel. Another member of team, Catherine Wong, was the Google Global Science Fair finalist for developing a wireless ECG that can transmit the heart's electrical signals to healthcare professionals instantly to analyze. Team Gen Z is an early favorite for the Qualcomm $10 million Tricorder X Prize. Our device is designed to be so easy to use that anyone can operate it with only a few hours of training. As many of you may have heard of, Watson recently was IBM's self-learning supercomputer which ran a software that beat two of the world's best Jeopardy players. Today, that same technology is being used in the medical field to diagnose the most uh, to diagnose cancer. So it's able to take the most current medical data and give better results than human doctors. Team Gen Z has already had initial talks with Watson's research department to integrate our wireless device with their software to provide them with real-time data for them to be able to confirm our initial diagnostic, essentially becoming a second opinion. Future versions of this will use exponential technologies to monitor your genome, microbiome, and proteome. It won't be far away when the day comes that we can use 3D DNA printers to actually print personalized cells of medicine on the spot. Each device is likely to cost us under $25, and we expect to launch in only a few years. Our strategy is to distribute this device to qualified girls in villages for $1 to $2 a month. This will transform the perception of girls in these areas from a burden on their family to the respected village doctor. doctor these doctors can charge 10 to 15 cents per patient to create a sustainable small business for themselves. Team Gen Z would make the initial investment in distributing these devices, but it will become profitable very quickly. Additionally, Team Gen Z can collect info from the most remote areas, giving us the ability to discover the spread of diseases before they become a pandemic. This data will be very useful to hospitals, doctors, communities, and even governments around the globe. We know this is a billion dollar opportunity because we are solving a $10 billion problem. So I hope all of you will join me in our goal of providing billions of people easy access to healthcare, and not only transforming the lives of millions of girls, but transforming society in the process. Thank you.